Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I'm here today with a quick video, and I do mean quick because it will be, um, with a gift, something that was gifted to me by a person named Jennifer Travis, whom I met through the YouTube lives from Cage Fish, Carla at Cage Fish. I'm a moderator of the, one of the moderators of the group, and we met doing the, the lives. So we got to talking about doodling and becoming a certified Zentangle teacher. She is one. I am not. I want to be, but honestly cannot afford it. Uh, so we got to talking about doodling, and she sent me a gift that I just was crazy about once I got it and have been into it. And I'm going to show it to you. So here it is. It's called Tangle a Day, and it is the 2019 calendar. It is by Carol, and I, I'm going to massacre her last name. Um, it's O-H-L. I don't know if it's pronounced O-L. It says, with Zentangle, inspired by Margaret, and her last name is Bremner, CZT, which is a certified Zentangle teacher. You have to go to Providence, Rhode Island for that. And in the beginning of the, the book, or the calendar, it explains to you what this is. And then it tells you what to do with them, like all the different ways that you can make the best out of this calendar. Throughout the calendar, there are monthly pages like this that are basic pages. You can't write a lot on them. I think basically it's just a quick look to see what day of the week it is or what day of the month it is. You really can't write a whole lot in there. Then there are beautiful pictures here. Um, each month has a nice page like this to start it off. Then, let me do a different month because I don't, there we go. This is what it looks like before. Each day of the week is labeled at, at the top, but down below it is a number and then a empty square, and they're like this. There's three on a page. So you doodle all over the page, or all over the box, and each thing is different. So I'm going to show you mine for January, because I just started this. Ooh, ooh, go back this way. All right, so here is January 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. And everyone does them differently. In the directions, it says go outside the box, Name the kind of pens that you used. Write down the name of the Zentangle. Really, I am I limit the kind of pens that I use. So these are either Microns, Art Lines, or Jelly Pens. And that's it. So I'm not going to label my pens. And honestly, I don't really care what the name of these are. I'm just doing it while I watch TV in the morning. When I get up and have my coffee, I feel the need to doodle real quick and to start my day off on a good note. So I do this and it takes me usually about 10 to 15 minutes and then it's done. I close it up. I put it away till the next day. I don't carry this around the house or from room to room. It stays in the living room on the table uh, next to where I, I sit on the couch. There's a lamp. There's a, a little packet of pens and I leave it there because I, this is not something I'm going to tote around. So there's today, let's see today, uh, this was yesterday's Fridays, I got a little nuts with it, but I, I'm i okay with it, I still need to do today's, and then I'll move on, but it's full of wonderful pictures that will inspire you, if you, if you lack inspiration, this will help to spur you on, all you have to do is look, I mean, there are really cool, very cool pictures in here. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I know those are mukas. Some of, those, some of the tangles I've used so many times now, and I've been doing it for about six years, that I know the names of them. They're, the, the form is a muka, this right here, where it's kind of bulbous on the end and goes in and in like this towards each other. Um... Let's see, where's pre-temps? There's not, oh, there's a, this looks like this might have been a pre-temps. There are all kinds of things in here that you could, you eventually do learn the names of, and they may or may not become favorites. 
I just love this. This I have never heard of this before. I went on Amazon because I wanted to link Amazon it to tell you guys to buy them there, but I don't see any of the 2019s on Amazon, but they have previous years. Like I saw one for 2015, 2016. Um, so you you can buy back back issues of it, but I have the 2019 and I'm so excited. I also wanted to share with you the fact that there is a Facebook group also dedicated to the Tangle a Day calendar. So I think when I applied for membership in the group, there were either two or three questions and they have to do with entangling and doodling and tangling, all the expressions you want to use. Um, and you have to answer the questions and then they decide if you are acceptable into the, if you can be accepted into the group. Um, I did name drop, what can I say? <laughs> I did take a class with Suzanne McNeil at Art and Soul in Virginia Beach many years ago, like six or eight years ago. And then um, this book was gifted to me by another CZT. I know three or four CZTs. Um, and so I dropped two names <laughs> so I could get into the group. <laughs> I'm not beneath that. That is not beneath me. Anyway, so here it is, the 2009 Tangle a Day uh, calendar. I will put as many links as I can down below to show you where you can purchase these. Uh, like I said, I did look on Amazon, and what I saw were back issues of it. I didn't see a 2019. They may or may not continue to carry them, or they might be out. I, I don't know. But if I find, by the time this goes to um, air then hopefully I will have found more than one place where you can purchase this. Okay, I said quick, and this is quick. I'm on 6 minutes and 58 seconds. Alrighty, so that's it for me. Thank you, and a special thank you to Jennifer Travis for knowing that I'm not a nut job that you mailed to. <laughs> and, to and to show you, Jennifer, that I appreciate it and I am using it. I'm very excited about it. Can you tell? Okay, so that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.